everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Does anybody else love the end of the year? If you're like somebody who regularly watches YouTube and everybody's just posting like all their end of the year videos. I don't know. It's one of my favorite things. <laughs> like I watch a lot of diamond painting videos. I watch a lot of book videos and like other type of crafting, crafting videos. And everybody's just posting all these fun videos. So I have what I think is a fun video to share with you guys today. And it is my best of 2023 diamond painting edition. Now I started doing this in 2021. This is something that like a lot of beauty channels use or I think I think I've seen some booktubers post videos this year um of this type of theme but what I like to do is talk to you about my favorite diamond painting things of the year so these could be new things that I tried that I purchased this year they could be old things that I rediscovered that I really really loved um just an assortment of things so I have a few categories I have some examples of everything and I'm excited to talk to you about them. Um, I highly encourage any of you who make YouTube videos or who have a channel to share your favorite things of 2023. I feel like it's a good way to share small shops and maybe like diamond painting tools that other people don't use or could use or something like that. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven categories to talk to you guys about. So today's video might be a little bit longer I'm not going to go too in depth into everything. I'm just going to kind of tell you the shop name, show you some examples, maybe, you know, a thing or two that I love about them, and then we will move on. So we're going to start today with pens. I have four shops that I wanted to talk to you guys about. They probably won't come as a surprise to you if you watch my post reviews where I share all of my accessories at the end. Um, these tend to be companies that I reach for a lot, or I just really like their design or the shapes of their pens. Um, I think we only have one shop that's returning from last year's list, um, so that's exciting. But let's talk about my favorite pens. Not my favorite pens, per se, my favorite shops for pens in 2023. So I just did a small shop spotlight on this particular pen shop, and it is Miss Creations by Danny. I showed you guys my entire collection. I have seven I think. I did find these this year and I have really been enjoying them. I am definitely somebody who struggles with my hands while I diamond paint. Uh, carpal tunnel runs in my family. My mother had the surgery when we were younger. My sister had it very recently. I am definitely due for it. <laughs> I work in IT so I'm on a computer all the time. I definitely need it but I'm avoiding it. So having a variety of styles of pens, weights of pens, widths of pens is very helpful and these are super super lightweight when I need that type of um pen now these are polymer clay that are made around the pink pen these are very very affordable at 16 dollars each um I did just do a small shop spotlight so if you want more information uh, it's just a few videos back so here are three that I pulled to kind of highlight I actually used all three of those this year <laughs> I apologize if I'm like sniffing a little bit. I woke up a little congested this morning. So next shop is Kevin's Creations. Now I have purchased from Kevin's Creations multiple times this year and years prior. Um, I pulled three from my stash that I really enjoy. This one I'm actually using on my current kit right now, which is Night on the Polar Express. And it, it seems like such a... I don't know, it seems like a basic pen, but it's just so beautiful. Once you really start to look at it, like look at that shimmer. It's such a gorgeous pen and uh, a very fun, unique shape that is surprisingly comfortable. I was concerned at first, um, but it is actually quite com comfortable. We have this pen, which I absolutely love. It is a hybrid and it's like, like a milky white with a brighter pink shade in there. I used this one, I think, for one of my February kits this year. Really, really beautiful. And then this pen I purchased this year. And I had seen it on their Instagram previewed. And I went to buy it and somebody else had snatched it up. So I was actually in one of Lindsay's lives, Life with Lindsay. And Erica, uh, Kevin's wife, was in there. And she was like, shoot me a message and we'll get you one. So 
Isn't this beautiful? I love the blue and pink hearts. If you know, you know, it's a hybrid and it's just beautiful. So Kevin's Creations, I highly recommend that you check them out. I will be sure to link all of these shops that I talk about in the description down below. <laughs> you guys know I'm really bad at linking things, but I'm going to make it happen, uh, especially for this video. All right, next up we have a pen shop that has made it to my list the past two years. So 2021 and 2022. Now, I did not purchase from them this year. I don't think which kind of blew my mind when I was looking at my pens. I was like, I don't think I purchased from this company at all this year, which I need to rectify in 2024. And I do believe that their website has been closed down, but you can still purchase from the owner on Instagram. Um, so I will leave a link to her Instagram down below, but this is Patriotic Team and just some really beautiful pens and a variety of sizes. If you're somebody who likes a really chunky pen, uh, I have this one here, which is just massive. <laughs> and then I have kind of like a middle of the road one. And then what I would consider more of a standard. I won this one last year in a giveaway. Oh, I think it was, um, I think she did an event for Valentine's Day in 2022. And I think I won. <clears throat> but really beautiful pens. Uh, very, very talented turner. So I will leave a link to Instagram or I don't think I can leave a link to her Instagram, but I can like put her at in the description so you can take a look. And then finally for our last pen shop, we have handmade diamond painting pens and more. They're also known as O'Brien Custom Turning. So if you're looking for their Facebook group, it's handmade diamond painting pens and more. If you're looking for an Etsy shop, it's O'Brien Custom Turning. I just picked four out of my pretty extensive <laughs> collection that I really like. Uh, this is one of my all-time favorite pens. It's so sparkly. I think these are Everlasting Tips. Yeah. Such a sparkly, beautiful pen. I really do love this one. Another favorite is this Flower Girl Blank. I love the colors of this one. I have another Flower Girl, which is this one. Did I use this one? Yes, I did. And then this is just a really fun pine cone one that I have in my collection. Oh, Luna's knocking something over out there. <laughs> okay, so those are my four shops for pens. Obviously, I have a ton of pens. I have other shops that I really love, but those are the four that I just wanted to highlight for 2023 favorites. All right, let's talk about some trays. I have three tray shops that I want to talk about. Um, the first one is Cat Proof. Now, I had a bit of a <laughs> customer service, I don't want to say nightmare because it wasn't that big of a deal, but I wasn't thrilled with the customer service and I have since not purchased, more so because I'm trying to pare down my accessories and not be overflowing with things that I'm not using, but I have still been using my cat proof trays and they really are some of the best, in my opinion, on the market. I will use other trays and then I'll come back to these and they really just shake out so well. So it's frustrating because I don't love the customer service, but it is a great product. And I'm willing to assume that it was more of a one-off with customer service as opposed to like that's their business plan or model or whatever. So in 2024, I would like to give them another try. I would like to pick up some new trays, but... Uh, I did want to still highlight them because they are still a really great option if you're looking for a really nice tray. So I have all four. I don't know if they've come out with more sizes, but I have what I believe to be all four of their sizes. So we have the kitten tray. I'm actually using this colorway in a larger size for my current whip. <laughs> so we have a really small one. This is their lean boy. Oops, apparently I haven't used this color which I would say is their standard size. Do I have drills? Yes. Let me pour out some drills for you guys in these trays. I have their long boy. This is a really pretty colorway. And then I have the fine boy, which is quite large. Let's shake some drills out in what I would consider their standard tray. All right, these are square drills. 
Maybe these weren't the best drills to grab actually because I am dealing with clumping on them, but they really just shake out so well. Straight lines, the, I really like the sizing of the little grid. I don't know what you would call this, like the wells, I guess. The grid lines, I don't know. I do like the size. I feel like both round and squares fit in this tray quite well. Um, so it is, in my opinion, one of the best tray shops available. Um, and don't be swayed by my personal experience because I'm sure it was just a one-off type of situation. Um, next up, I have trays from Bijou Bliss. This was a new tray shop in 2023, if I'm not mistaken. And, oh, by the way, Cat Proof was on my list last year for 2022. Uh, I'm fairly certain that Bijou Bliss is a new tray company this year. And I picked just a few to share with you guys. These ones are magnetic. So the tray is magnetic and the, or the tray, the lid is magnetic. And then the stopper is also magnetic. And I find that the magnets work quite well. I don't tend to put the lid on the bottom. Maybe it's this way. That is an option, but I don't find that it stays really securely. I guess it does, but I, it's just not a system that I use. I do like, however, the magnets on the top. If I'm leaving a color in the tray, that does work quite well. I have this really pretty watermelon color. This was a custom two-tone colorway that I did. So green and red for Christmas. And then I have this really beautiful, super sparkly blue. I really need to place an order with them. They have some gorgeous new... Um, filament colors that I definitely want to add to my collection but let's shake these ones out oh no the drills are jumping if I could make one personally if I could make one improvement to these trays it would be to have the walls be a little bit higher um I just want to mention again that the drills quality for this <laughs> the kit that I'm working on aren't great so uh, I think it's more of a drill issue than a tray issue, but you can see how nicely those line up. Really nice straight lines. Um, but I am a very aggressive drill shaker. So if these sides were just a tiny bit taller, I think they would be a, like a favorite favorite, but like top of my list favorite, I should say. Uh, but I really, really do enjoy these trays and they have come out with some smaller size ones that I would really like to try. I just have not picked any up yet. So that is Bijou Bliss. They're on Etsy, so I will leave a, sh a link down below as well. And then finally for trays, I have Creations by Ellie. Crafty Creations by Ellie? I can't quite remember. Uh, again, I'll leave her shop down below, but I have done a small shop spotlight on these trays and they don't have my favorite funnel so this is where you pour your drills out of i don't love that but i do really like how the drills lay so i can kind of i can deal with the spout sometimes i'll even just pour them out of the corner rather than removing the spout but ellie has some really fun filaments and a couple of different types of trays she also has some of the gridded ones where you can like multi-place from them. I have not, uh, actually I do have a couple, but I have not used them enough to give you like an honest opinion. Um, I have done a small shop spotlight on this particular shop as well. Um, but I have this really beautiful like sparkly blue green. I have one of the half trees, which is a super fun size. I used this one on a painting earlier this year. And then I also have one of her Christmas trays, which I loved because it's, you know, a red background and then the lines are green. So let's put down a few drills. Ah, if you guys could see the state of my desk right now, yikes. <laughs> I just feel like these drills line up so nicely in her tray. So that is Crafty Creations by Ellie. Again, I will leave a link for you guys down below. I don't mind this funnel on these larger containers. So these are the Harbor Freights, if you're not familiar. 
because I can put the whole corner in and I can just like tap, 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 tap. But when I use like my large Tic Tac ones, those can be, can be a little bit tricky if you don't take the lid off. Um, so not my favorite funnel system, but still a really good tray in my opinion. Okay, so those are trays. Next, we're going to talk about wax and putty. So first up, I have my holy grail. <laughs> Pretty much the only thing I use in my single placer anymore. And it is micro glue dots. This is a micro glue dot dispenser from Wilson 3D Designs on Etsy. I really love this. It's magnetic and I can put it onto my minder board and has a home. I don't lose it, <laughs> which is great. Um, I can link this down below for you guys as well. But I love my micro glue dots. I even bought, I just bought a backup roll because I'm, I'm not almost out, but I use these on every single painting. I do not use anything else in my single placer anymore. Um, this is just, they're, they're amazing. I can get through an entire painting. I load my single placer with three of these little micro glue dots and I prefer the micro ones to some of the larger ones. I have tried some of the homemade ones. I know Jenny from um oh gosh i have them right here oh snap crafters cafe these are just a little big for me personally and i know you're like you're putting three together so you're probably making the same type of size for some reason three teeny tiny ones just work better for me than the larger ones i don't mind those and i have used them but these are just still number one for me personally if you have not tried them definitely recommend giving them a shot. You can get a box on Amazon for like three bucks. So definitely give those a try. These were on my 2021 and 2022 best of lists. So <laughs> definitely a favorite. Next up I have, okay, I have three putty shops. So I keep all my putties in these little crates, but this particular shop has outgrown <laughs> the crate. And this is painting with pitties. This is Pity Putty from Brie. Now, I do want to say that Brie is my friend, yes, but I I think she has sent me a couple um, throughout her shop tenure. I actually think I have some of the first Pity Putty before she was even selling it. Yeah, I do. It's right here. <laughs> this was before she was selling. Um, I have a bunch of Pity Putty. Most of these I have purchased with my own money. Um, I really enjoy this formula. There are a lot of putty shops out there. There's only so many ways you can make putty. I totally understand that, but I really love Bree's formula. It works really well for me, and I'm not saying this just because she's my friend. I'm saying this because I really do enjoy her product. Um, but like I said, I have outgrown my little crate that I have here. <laughs> because I purchased her advent box and I got 10 new putties and now it's overflowing. Um, but I will link Bree's site down below. She does not have any putty listed right now and I cannot give you a restock date because I don't know, but I will leave her shop, you can check in. Um, this is a really great formula. It does get a little stringy for me sometimes, but I am somebody who, like, I'm always kind of pushing my putty back into my multi-placer. So it doesn't become a problem for me. Um, and the formula, it just, it lasts for me. I can get a whole painting done with Bree's putty in my multi-placer. And that is kind of, like, the standard for me. Like, how much of my diamond painting can I get done with one fill of putty? And if it's my entire kit, then I'm thrilled and you're a favorite. So we have... A whole bunch of scents. These are from an event that she helped sponsor. And then I have the Advent scents, which I do have a video where I unboxed all of them. One of my favorites is, I think it's at the bottom. Yeah, Day at the Beach. I love that one. If you're somebody who really likes foodie scents, Brie does a lot of foodie um, type putty scents and I don't know I just I really enjoy them and you guys know I'm always trying to match uh scents with themes and kits so having a lot of options just works for me personally so that is new to the 2023 list next we have Nix's Notions and I love this putty 
So I've talked about this putty before. It's kind of a, I call it a gel putty hybrid just because I don't really know how else to describe it. It's just, it feels so different to me than other putties and I really, really like it. I would say this is the first putty that I used and this was on last year's list, by the way. Um, this was the first putty that I used that I got through an entire kit in my multiplacer. So I really think that Nyx's Notions was onto something with this formula. I really enjoy it. I have a lot and you don't use a lot at all. Um, I would say that this is, has a little bit of a learning curve because you cannot overfill your multiplacer with this. It needs to be like flat and even because when you first start working on it, since it is that kind of different, I don't want to call it a looser formula, but since it has that like... I would call it more of like a slippery texture than some of the other putties. You don't want to overfill because it will kind of come out the sides of your multi-placer. So definitely a learning curve, but some of my favorite scents for sure. This is the Blue Cotton Candy. And I have two of these because I love that scent so much. Yes, I do have two. Um, This one has not even been used yet. So you can see that she stamps her putty with her little logo. I really do enjoy this. And there are a few different varieties. This one was more expensive, um, I think because it's a prettier package. But I love these little ones where she puts the... So like this is sticky face, so it's a little ice cream cone. Super cute. I should say, by the way, I let me go back to Brie here for a second. Let me grab a not advent one. Brie is, or was, one of the first shops who started doing shaped putty. So hers are little paw prints and they're so cute. I just wanted to mention that when I was talking about Nix's Notions stamping their putty, I wanted to mention that Brie, Brie's putty is shaped. So those are the first two shops. And then I have one more and this is also new to the 2023 list. And this is Putty Ella Mud. Now I have not purchased from this shop in a little bit because I had accumulated a pretty big collection. Um, but I really do enjoy, oh, this is a little sample. I forgot that she has little samples, um, which you can buy for like a couple bucks. And then her putty is quite reasonable. The last time I purchased, I haven't looked in a bit, but I really enjoy this putty as well. It smells delicious. Um, we have an array of little bags. Oh, I should have used that this Christmas. Totally forgot I had that one. That's what happens when you have so much putty. You're like, dang it. <laughs> um, but for a while, I was picking up like every scent that she was dropping. And I had to stop myself because it was just becoming an issue. <laughs> but I really do enjoy uh, Putty Ella Mud. And I encourage you to check it out. I will leave a link to her Etsy shop down below. I'm not sure why these ones came in larger bags. I do prefer when shops keep their packaging consistent. Um, so even though this, I, I'm pretty sure this is the same amount of putty. I don't know why these ones came in the really large bags. Maybe it was like a supply issue and these were the only ones that she could get. But I do prefer personally when shops keep their packaging consistent just so it's easier for me to store it in one way, but that's just me being very nitpicky and sounding like a brat. So let's move on. <laughs> so those are my wax and putty shops for 2023. Next up, we're going to talk about cover minders. Now, I definitely cut down on my cover minder purchases this year because I have two magnetic boards that are overflowing, <laughs> to be quite honest with you that are just packed of cover minders. Now I use a cover minder on every single kit that I work on, so they definitely get used, but it's still a little much. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> it's a little much. Um, I definitely need to pare down a little bit, but I picked out three shops that I did purchase from this year and that I just tend to gravitate towards. Some of them because I just own a lot from that particular shop and others just because I really like their vibe I guess. So the first one is Galloway's Gallery. Now I have had Galloway's Gallery on my list for the last two years so 21, 22 and they're back for 2023. 
Um, this shop has their own website. I will link it down below. Ah, no, dang it. I had done so well about keeping these all separate from each other. Um, I would say that Galloway's Gallery is probably one of the more well-known minder shops in the community. Uh, here are just three that I pulled that I really love. We have a little book themed one. Of course we have an otter and then I love this little be kind rainbow. Uh, I have a bunch. They specialize in these like plastic. I don't even know what you call these just plastic little pieces, super cute. Um, a very, very large selection. When I'm working on a kit that I want a very particular matchy matchy cover minder, the first place I go is Galleries, Galloway's Gallery. There's a little search bar. You can type in what you're looking for and she's always adding new minders, always updating. So definitely, definitely, definitely recommend this particular shop if you are Looking to get into cover minders, if you're looking for a specific one, definitely my go-to. Next, I have a new minder shop. I think they were new in 2023, and it is a Bliss Studio shop. Now, these are also those plastic pieces, but this shop seems to have some more unique pieces of these. A lot of the times, cover minder shops kind of have the same inventory. It's just more about finding whichever one you prefer or basing it off of price or whatever. But this shop has some cover minders that I had not seen anywhere else, at least at the time of purchasing. I love this one. It's so beautiful. I also love this one. Be the reason someone believes in good people. And then we have mental health matters. So I have a, I have a handful more. I think I have about 10 from this shop. I just grabbed a few off of my board. It's very easy to get confused with these plastic uh these shops that sell these plastic ones because there's nothing that really indicates where you get them from which is why i keep a list of where i get my cover minders um but these ones are really pretty and i like them a lot and then finally another favorite is caffeinated cat crafts now fun fact caffeinated cat crafts is somewhat local to me they're a few hours north um so I love obviously supporting small shops. I love that it's a local to me small shop. And I love that there's a bit more variety. So she has a lot of these, oh gosh, since they're metal, they just won't stop attaching to each other. <laughs> so she has these really cute little metal ones. I think she also started stocking some of the plastic ones, but I gravitate towards these little metal ones in her shop. So we have a little penguin, cute little ghost have a little pumpkin here. I have a number of other ones. These are just the three that I grabbed. Uh, super cute. I will link her shop down below. All right, so that was cover minders. Next up, I want to talk to you guys about storage. However, I did not pull the storage containers that I'm going to talk about. So I will pop up pictures here. These are the three that I use the most on my channel. If you watch my Kidding Ups, then you've seen them in action. The first one is the large Tic Tac containers. This was on my list last year. I found them last year. I have the white stamp storage, tiered stamp storage from Joann's. And I fill that with the large Tic Tac containers and you can fit like 72 or something, which is great for some of those larger paintings that we work on and definitely a favorite. I didn't use it as much this year just because it can be kind of cumbersome, but the large Tic Tacs are still a favorite. So I'll pop up a picture so you can see what I'm talking about. Next up is the Elizabeth Ward storage. Now these have been on my list for the last, this is the third year running, so 21 and 22. I still really enjoy this system. However, I will say that I did not use it as much this year because you do have to think a little bit more. <laughs> so when you're kidding up, you have to, you don't have to do this, but I like to sort my drills. So like which ones are gonna fit in the smallest container, which ones do I need to reserve the largest container for? And then you're kind of playing like, not Jenga, I don't know. You're playing like a game to make sure you can get all the containers to fit into the large tray. So 
but still a favorite. I love that system. It's just when I'm really into kitting up and I really want to sort it and make it look perfect, that's when I reach for <laughs> that particular system, but still a favorite for sure. And then finally, we have the Harbor Freights, which I do actually have because my current whip is kitted up in them. Here we go. So I love these. Now, Harbor Free is only in the United States. I don't think they have international shipping. So that could be a bit of an issue for some of you. However, Amazon has started coming out with this type of system. Now, I keep mine like this. So I think they're supposed to go like this with the latch facing up. But I turn mine on the side so I can have the label without having to worry about the little clip there and then I always put a few on the side so I can get a couple more colors in there and I like to tape my picture to the front so these are the Harbor Freights love these really really love these I used to have a large organizer thing that I could put them in and then I could have like all of these in one container I think Steven might have taken that for some of his like little bits and stuff like tool bits uh, which is fine because I don't mind just using the two but definitely an option there are plenty of people that have videos on those um, but yeah these are Harbor Freights really really enjoy them these are also really good for travel in the spring and summer we spend a lot of time up at camp in the Adirondacks and I can pack these put them in my bag and I'll know that they'll be okay once we get there like they're just they're pretty sturdy I know drills aren't going to fall out and I like them quite a bit. Also, a lot of drills fit in these little containers. It's a little bit deceiving, but a lot of drills fit in them. All right, so those were containers. Next up, we have miscellaneous accessories. So first off, I have special drills. <laughs> you guys know I love my special drills. We've been working on a special drill organization series. Um, and I have two shops this year that I wanna talk about. Now, DP with Sparklers has made the list um, in 2021 and 2022 for their sparklers, which are just beautiful. Here is just a little flip through of the ones that I have in my collection. Stunning. I love DP with sparklers. I actually need to place an order before my no buy starts in January. <laughs> so I have some sparklers and then I have some square ABs here. Just this is my go-to place for special drills. I know they're going to have whatever color I'm looking for. Um, shipping is pretty quick and I just enjoy purchasing from there. And then a new special drill to my collection is the glitter drills from Diamond Drills USA. I use these on one of my kits, so I haven't gone like super crazy with them, but I have big plans for these in 2024 and I can't wait to use them. I picked up the round set from them and the colors are just beautiful absolutely love them. Now I will give you guys an alternative because the set of around the full set was I think $70, which I know is very steep, very, very steep. <laughs> There's a reason I don't have the square ones, but Amazon also has their set of glitter drills. These are, these are the square ones. Now these colors are all comparable to the set from Diamond Drills USA. I had this exact set in round drills and we were able to match up every color to one of the colors in the Diamond Drills USA set. So I will leave these linked down below. I have not used the square ones, which is why they are still fully packaged, um, but this was very affordable. I'll be sure to link this. If you wanna just kind of give it a try before you invest in the larger bags, this is definitely a good option. So glitter drills and ABs, sparklers, all the special drills. Next up, we have washi tape. I use washi tape for every single kit that I work on. Not only do I use it on my kits, I also use it on my containers. So if you look here, underneath the label, I have put a little strip of washi tape so that when I go to kit down, rather than trying to dig up the label, I just have to peel up the washi tape and it comes right off. You guys can see that. It comes right off, leaves no residue. One of my biggest tips for diamond painting, to be completely honest, is to put washi tape down on your containers before your labels. It's a game changer. 
Um, but I have an assortment of washi tapes here. These are all from Amanda Michelle Designs. Now, I recently did a small shop spotlight on this shop, but the owner has closed down, we're hoping temporarily. So unfortunately you cannot pick any of these up right now from her, but Amazon has washi tape, Etsy, I'm sure there are other shops that have washi tape. I will leave a link to Amanda Michelle's website down below. Um, if you wanna bookmark it, check back. Uh, I do know that she has been active on Instagram and that is probably where she will post when she's coming back. So I will also leave her at in the description box so you can go follow her if you're interested. But washi tape of any kind, I just gravitate towards Amanda Michelle, but washi tape of any kind is a game changer for me personally. When diamond painting, I use it on my containers. I use it to section my diamond paintings. Uh, very, very useful tool. And then speaking of tools, now, okay, hold on. Mando Shell was on the list in 2021 and 2022 as well. I guess I should say washi tape was on the list, but I definitely highlighted Amanda Michelle both of those years. Okay, random item, but something that is very, very useful is box cutters. <laughs> now I have an assortment of some cute ones. Like I have a little carrot, some strawberries. I have little paw print ones. Uh, I have a sticker from Brie. I need to put that in my diamond painting notebook. Uh, and then I have like some more traditional box cutters. These little paw prints. <laughs> I have a bunch. Now I use a box cutter on every diamond painting that I work on. I make my sections. So once I have my washi tape down, I trim down the line of washi, fold it up. That's how I make my section. Um, I also, once I've completed that section, I have to cut the clear film off. So box cutters to me are very important when I diamond paint. So I have an assortment and I recommend that you do as well. <laughs> All right, so those are my miscellaneous, miscellaneous accessories. And that leaves us with just my favorite diamond painting companies of the year. Now I did not pull any kits, but I will pop up a few from each shop that I completed um, just so you can see them. And I have four this year. Now, two of them are repeats, two of them are new. And I did complete multiple kits from each of these shops. Did I complete? I think so. <laughs> so first on the list is Diamond Art Club. Uh, we all know, to me, Diamond Art Club is the top company that I have personally tried. I have not tried every diamond painting company, but Diamond Art Club makes up the majority of my stash. I am not being paid to tell you that. <laughs> I do not get free kits from Diamond Art Club. I do have an affiliate link in the description if you were so inclined to make an order. Um, but Diamond Art Club is what I, out of what I have worked on, is the best company to me personally. Um, yes, I have my issues with Diamond Art Club. I've had issues with some rendering. I've had issues with drill quality. I've had issues with the drill field, but that's every diamond painting company. Now I'm not here trying to kiss Diamond Art Club's butt at all, but when I'm talking about my best of 2023, my best company was Diamond Art Club. So take that for what you will. <laughs> but Diamond Art Club definitely um, makes it the top of the list. Next we have Jaded Gem Shop, which might be a little bit of a surprise to some of you because I completed two kits from her this year loved absolutely loved the first one which i'll pop up right here beautiful it was around it worked up so well i loved the rendering it was a small size it was a 50 by 50 and i thought it turned out absolutely beautiful could potentially be in my top five favorite kits which there will be a video coming uh, for that in a few days but my last kit was not my favorite i didn't love the square drills I had a lot of trash. My post review definitely wasn't something that would indicate that this company was a best for me in 2023, but it was because the artwork that Jade carries, uh, her supportive artists, like it's bigger than just the, okay, I had a one-off that I didn't really love. Maybe I'm just not into the squares. Maybe we know I'm in a square rut and maybe my opinion was skewed a little bit just because I'm not enjoying squares. The drill quality still wasn't good, <laughs> personally, in my opinion, but I still enjoyed the kits that I worked on as a whole. 
I, I still consider that to be a really good shop and one that I enjoyed a lot in 2023. Next up, we have Oraloa, which is not a new shop to me in 2023. It is new to the list though. And I also, this is going to sound so bad because I have three shops that I have affiliate links for, but that is because I have affiliate relationships with shops that I like. So do that with that what you will. Um, I was sent two kits from Oraloa this year to review. Um, there's an unboxing on my channel. The kits that I worked on, however, are kits that I purchased myself. Um, and the, I'm trying to think of the name of that Orca kit. I know it's in French, which I'll butcher, but I hopefully have popped it up on the screen. That was around and I loved it. So I had worked on an Oraloa a couple of years ago that was square drills that I didn't love, um, but they have made improvements to their kits. This was the first round that I had worked on and I really, really loved working on it. It worked up really great. I thought the rendering was good. Um, the size was fun, really enjoyed it. So they did make it to the list. I have plans for more Oraloas next year, so. Um, and then finally, we do have Dreamer Designs. Now, I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with Dreamer Designs drill quality. Uh, I do have, again, an affiliate link, and I think a code in the description. However, they have never sent me any free kits, and even if they had, that does not sway my opinion. But I love Dreamer Designs round kits. I really do. I've talked about it. The rounds are just so good. Squares, not my favorite. Uh, I just completed a square this month, actually. I think the post review has already gone up. And it was fine, just not a favorite. The rounds, however, beautiful. Love them. Absolutely recommend. Please try a round kit from them if there's an artist or an art style that you like. I definitely encourage you to do so. I think... Actually, the one of their round kits made it on to my favorite finishes of 2022 last year. So um, maybe, maybe we'll have another one that makes it. I don't know. <laughs> but I really enjoyed, um, I did enjoy working on my Dreamer Designs kits this year. And I'm going to make it a priority to work on some kits from them more in 2024. So that is it for today's video. I'm sorry if it was a little rambly towards the end there, but um that's kind of just the way that this type of video goes. Now, just as a disclaimer, since I did talk about some companies that I have affiliate links for, nobody, none of these shops, small shops, bigger shops, have swayed me in any way to choose them. These are all shops that I have thought about that come to my brain as shops that I frequent for accessories or um, paintings, what have you. These are just things that I really enjoyed in 2023. I wanted to share them with you. Maybe you found a new shop. Maybe you are going to find, you know, a new useful tool. <laughs> what a weird thing to put on a best of list, but it's true. I reach for them with every kit I work on. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know if any of these shops made your best of list. Let me know accessories in the comments that are your favorite for 2023, because I would love to try out some new shops in 2024, support some small businesses after my no buy. <laughs> but I would like to do that. So make sure you leave me a comment if you would like about your favorite shops and I will definitely check them out. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. We are winding down with our daily videos, which I'm sad, but also excited for. <laughs> so, uh, But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.